Well, I'm glad I'm not talking tonight. Um, the first thing, prior to uh, introducing tonight's speaker, um, there's two lectures after this. Next week is uh, Kenya Moriyama of Team Zoo. And the following week, uh, there's a s slight change. Um, in lieu of Shin Takamatsu, there's another architect uh, named Itsuko Hasegawa, um, whose work um, I'm sh hasn't been published internationally too much. Her work has been published primarily in Japan. Um, she's one of the most productive architects, I think, uh, in Japan, which probably would make her one of the most productive in the world. Um, the other interesting a uh, aspect um, is uh, the fact that uh, she's a woman. Um, Okay, this evening, <laughs> those are, those are you know, when you start to talk, talk about gender, it gets, uh, I'll abbreviate uh, Ando's um, biography. He's born in Osaka in uh, 1941. Uh, he doesn't have a, um, um, a formal education in architecture, um, primarily self-taught um, by way of personal study as well as extensive traveling through uh, Africa, the United States, and Europe. The, um, that as a mere fact may not seem that important in, I think, the in the context of Japanese society, it's, a, I think, a pretty incredible feat uh, for him, for anyone like Ando, t to be able to um, establish himself um, to the point that he's at now, um, sort of outside the normal uh, channels. Um, I think the fact that another uh, fact which um, isn't perhaps talked about too often is um, he's, he was a boxer. Um, we were talking earlier today about the fact that being a boxer is very good training to becoming an architect. <laughs> um, I'll pause for a minute. You can all finish the conversation in your heads. Um, but I think it's, it's really quite true. Um, I think um, having been a boxer and having made it to position he's uh, at right now are, are probably um, um, important uh, uh, facts that coincide. In 1970, he established his own office. Um, he'd been quite productive between 70 and 78 when he was included in uh, the first show of young Japanese architects in New York, which traveled uh, throughout the country. And there was a series of lectures that were given here in 1978. Um, his work since then has been exhibited uh, very widely. Most recently, um, there was a traveling show th through the United States that came to Los Angeles that was co-sponsored by SciArc and USC. Uh, this last year, he was a recipient of the uh, Alvar Aalto uh, Memorial Prize. Uh, each architect relates to his time and place in a personal way. He develops a method of working and an aesthetic that expresses his deepest thoughts and feelings. In the face of the plurality of values present in today's world culture, uh, Ando has taken a definite stance. His architecture his architectural vocabulary, which is intentionally restricted to a minimalist aesthetic, apparently rejects this plurality. The result is an architecture that is simple and pure, peaceful and calm. It has the power to transform one's mood to fit its own, and then reveals its mysteries to you, very much like a Zen garden. With that, I give you Tadeo Ando.
I need an additional microphone. Is there, is there one wired? It's a word. Then the one that I own. This? What kind of mic do you want? What kind of microphone do you want? He'll just speak. He's going to speak without the mic, and I guess I'll. Okay. Translating will be George Kunihiro, who is an architect in Los Angeles. My name is Ando Talao. I wish I can speak English, but I've studied too much architecture, and uh, <laughs> therefore I haven't studied enough English, and so he'll ask uh, George Kuhn here to translate. <laughs> I don't know if I can uh, lecture as well as uh, when I boxed, but I, I'll try my best to fight all the way through. Uh, when I first came to the United States, uh, that was 1967, and uh, the first building that I saw was Charles Moore's Sea Ranch. This uh, it was a period where Charles Moore and Robert Venturi uh, was struggling to uh, create something beyond the modernism. It was uh, the, the issues that they were concerned were uh, historic, historical uh, uh, situations and territoriality and such that it was something uh, of a challenge to modern movement. I've described most of uh, the lecture uh, by slides, but before that, I'd like to uh, explain some of the issues that I'm interested in. I feel that the main issues of modern art movement was the uh, functional functionalism. I feel that it was a uh, uh, standardized uh, material such as glass and uh, concrete that was used to create modern architecture. There was one problem. It was the problem that uh, the users were not uh, uh, brought in as, as uh, part of the uh, uh, event. It was the uh, creator's architecture. 
町じゅう判断することによって、全くその新しい環境というものは作られなくなってしまったような気がいたします。By having these standardized、uh, buildings throughout the,、uh, the environment,、uh, not, there were too much of standardization and th there was no new creative uh, uh, environment that was created. It was a very simplistic approach where、uh, simple boxes were built as purely functional e l e m e n t and that these buildings had、uh, infiltrated into the environment of, of、uh, the modern cities. By the、uh, rise of postmodern architecture,、uh, only, there was only superficial decorative element that was the issue, to, and, and merely an addition of, of surface、uh, treatment to、uh, the modern uh, architecture. どの場所にどのような人間がどういうふうに決まっているかというようなことも無視して作られていくような気がいたします。In terms of territoriality, there was total disregard for the residents, the people who are living in that particular environment. 僕自身のことで申しますと、可能ならば近代建築の材料や技術を用いながら、画家が、いや、If it's possible, I like to use these modern materials to create architecture that、uh, poets and artists、uh, create. By, by、uh, being a poet,、uh, like Like poet writing a poem or artist、uh, drawing a picture, I like to create an environment that uh, uh, would, would uh, uh, make real the architecture that is totally conceptual to me. So, in this case, the people who are living in the world are living in the world. One of the problems is to express oneself in that modern, modern architecture. Is, isn't there an architecture that, that、uh, is expressive of oneself and that one can, can the architecture that can represent、uh, one's own expression? そして建築の2つの問題を例えばその抽象的な近代建築の方法を用いながらそれを概念化した抽象的な問題ともう一つは具象的な問題例えば歴史とか伝統とかそれから人間性とか地域性というようなものの両面を踏まえた建築を作ってみたいというふうに考えています。I like to create architecture that is both、uh, abstract and conceptual at the same time real.、Uh, Taking into account historical elements,、uh, territor territoriality, and、uh, technology. He feels that territoriality or regionalism had been neglected throughout modern movement. And that he feels that he would like to, or I, I should say I, I would like to create an architecture that is very Japanese, truly Japanese. うう I'd like to start、uh, uh, by showing you slides and explain these ideas.
でこれはあのまず僕自身があの住んでます大阪のスライド航空写真で何枚か見ていただこうと思います。This is aerial photograph and a series of aerial photograph of the city I live in called Osaka. Right after the、uh, end of World War II in 1945, none of these buildings have existed. All these buildings were built、uh, in the last 40 years, so he, he doubts that these buildings were、uh, built with、uh, serious ideas in mind. These are built office buildings, train stations, and et c And these are built purely with a functional requirement, with functional program in mind. In the recent years, however, the Japanese have begun to、uh, question these functionalism. And begin to、uh, ask for more than what is seen in this environment. In Osaka, in that、uh, very dense environment, there are six million people living. Because the ground level had been already been built 100%, there、uh, in Osaka,、uh, underground had begun to be utilized as, as a new environment. In, in one part of Osaka, for a、uh, distance of four kilometers, one can walk through the underground malls without being uh, uh, exposed to outside weather. On the other hand, in the suburbs of, of such、uh, urban e n v i r o n m e n t there are these new Towns created out of、uh, mountainous environment to be,、uh, to be the new residential、uh, community. The, the, such environment, such urban environment,、uh, is linked merely、uh, linked by the、uh, railroad system. and this On one hand, is purely a bedroom community where people work, and on the other hand, the urban environment where、uh, people go to work. This is a, a, a special photograph,、uh, but、uh, there are 200 residents. Uh, in this little community. This is the aerial photograph of the、uh, famous、uh, Katsura Imperial Villa in Kyoto. In、uh, traditional Japanese architecture, this was a typical view where a,、uh, an environment, the built environment, was built around a、uh, natural setting. After the World War II, uh, such uh, 
a situation is rare in an urban environment where uh, greenery had been lost. I like to create uh, such a natural uh, feeling in my architecture. And this is a, a photograph of a, uh, a, a small community, rural community outside of a, a, a urban environment such as Osaka. I work in an environment where old, both old and new coexist. This is one of my first project, and it's a small house that is that measures three meters by fifteen meters deep. This is a very small house, but it's a typical Japanese, a typical pattern of Japanese townhouses. When I first uh, approached this project, I, I questioned myself whether or not I can build in, in such a small environment, a large, uh, a wide environment that is uh, that is uh, that you can build to maximum. I've always thought, I also thought to address uh, the question of nature, bringing in nature to this, uh, this environment. Um, a third, a, a mid, middle third of this three by fifteen meter uh, house is a courtyard, as you can see. From this courtyard comes a wind, light, and natural environment that goes into the uh, enclosed spaces. And there's one, uh, there's some um, problems in the house that is uh, not purely functional. For example, going from second room bedroom to the first, uh, second floor bedroom to the first floor bathroom, you must walk to the outside and then get back in and go downstairs to uh, uh, to that uh, to the bathroom. Uh, but you can you can view the stars at night from both from second floor and from first floor, looking through the courtyard. It's very romantic. This is the plan of a typical traditional uh, townhouse, plan of traditional Japanese townhouse. What you see in green are the uh, courtyards. The house uh, that I've just shown you is an, uh, a modern and my personal interpretation of this traditional Japanese townhouse. The, uh, the only requirement that the Japanese people have in courtyards is to 
to uh, seek nature, to capture nature, even though the environment itself and the size of the, the uh, courtyard itself is, is small. Japan's winter is very cold, but from March to November, um, the family can live l like this in the courtyard setting. <laughs> because it's so small um, and tight, um, he feels that these people uh, can't really gain weight because of them. <laughs> <laughs> In 1978, Charles Moore visited this place and he couldn't fit, fit in through the door. This is a situation unique to Japan, a uh, problem of scale, and he felt that uh, profoundly, particularly when he uh, came to L.A. this morning and uh, passed through the airport. But uh, he feels that this is a unique problem and unique situation in Japan. Uh, just recently he was asked to design a house in a lot that's three meters by seven meters, which is half of this one. And uh, he himself was surprised that a client su such as uh, them uh, existed. <laughs> In the past 10 years, uh, I've tried to, uh, to uh, uh, in incorporate natural, uh, natural materials in an area where uh, a human scale, a human can touch and, and walk upon. Uh, this is a little larger in scale, about 100 square meters, and uh, there are two families living in this building. And this building has glass block uh, in the middle uh, on both sides of the courtyard which separate the uh, two units. Can you focus please? And there's a, it's a, a rather small courtyard, but they wanted to get maximum light into the uh, the units, so both walls are completely uh, covered with uh, glass block. Uh, I wanted to create an architecture that is in here that is both simplistic and and, and com uh, complex, and both uh, and the outside may be severe, 
but as you walk inside, I uh, wanted to create a warm environment. And the bottom is a section, and uh, then first, second, and third floor. All rooms are uh, exposed to the courtyard, and the lights light is uh, filtered through the courtyard. The ground floor is office, a small office. First floor, uh, or uh, first floor, uh, second floor, is a uh, kitchen li living. In the third floor, is uh, our bedrooms. This is uh, a photograph of an entrance. The light penetrates uh, from uh, different angles and from different directions. As you can see, I uh, wanted to uh, bring in the sky and the light and nature into this building. At the same time, using uh, modern materials create this type of uh, architecture. Uh, this is the third floor bedroom. This is a photograph of the evening shot, and as you can see, that the uh, rooms are lit, and as each member of the family returns home, uh, different parts of the building begin to illuminate, uh, uh, signifying a uh, family member coming home. Uh, this is uh, designed in 1980, and it's uh, it's the first time I, or one of the uh, first times that I've designed a, a house on a site. Uh, this was designed for a fashion designer, and my problem was to uh, uh, make a statement in the nature, but not cr uh, creating a statement that's o overstatement competing against nature. I wanted to create uh, my personal statement within the nature, the harmony with nature. And one of the uh, another issue that I was concerned was to express the Japanese architecture, essence of Japanese architecture, uh, using concrete as a material, built material. Uh, most, as you can see in the section, most uh, major portion of this building is uh, underground. Uh, from the outside, it's a, a very uh, low, small-scale building, but he want, uh, I wanted to create 
an environment once you uh, as as you enter uh, sort of expand and and, and uh, create a dynamic type of space. Unlike modern architecture, I wanted to uh, create an environment with this house, an uh, element of surprise, ele element of emotion, and, and something that can, um, can uh, uh, create a uh, feeling within the person experiencing the space. This is uh, the photograph that I took when I went to Shandigar, and I feel that Corbu's, uh, Le Corbusier's uh, uh, concrete is rough and, and very, very dynamic, and it, it fits this particular region very well. However, I felt that bringing this type of uh, finished uh, concrete into dense and tight environments such as in Japan, he he doubted that it would succeed uh, in the eyes of the people. However, uh, if I was to use a concrete in, in my architecture, I wanted to create architecture uh, using concrete that would uh, simulate um, a feeling of wood or paper. Uh, this is the uh, uh, ceiling of a uh, traditional house which um, is made out of natural material, wood material, that uh, feeling that you can enjoy, you can uh, feel the natural material. Uh, in modern architecture, this type of of uh, emotion and addressing the uh, 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 aesthetic issue was neglected. I seek to to create um, this type of uh, feeling using concrete in my architecture. This uh, red portion is the uh, circulation pattern. By making a uh, complex movement throughout the space, he, I wanted to create a uh, various uh, environment within this house that are um, dramatic and uh, exciting. I wanted to create, uh, by experiencing this space, I wanted to create in uh, an architecture that is uh, a space that is very poetic. That uh, goes for all the buildings that I'm d I have designed and I will design. This is a photograph of a corridor.
これはリビングルームですけれども外部の庭とリビングルームがこう一体になっているようなイメージで作られています。This is a photograph of a living room, but as you can see, the exterior space, the courtyard,、uh, almost becomes part and, and unites with the、uh, interior living space. One of,、uh, one of uh, issues that I'm very interested in is light. And I'm, I'm、uh, always thinking of、uh, studying light as it moves through space. And I'm very interested in this movement of light. Instead of、uh, addressing the, the issue of exterior, I'm very interested in how the spaces are created, wrapped,、uh, and defined in, inside. This is a hallway that is facing、uh, west, and by having the direct west sun coming,、uh, filtering into this space, he, he, he was examining to see if the concrete was as though the concrete was, was cut by the,、uh, the, ray, uh, the stream of light that enters into the space. And、this was two phase construction. As you can see in the、uh, arched portion, the curved portion is, is the second phase. And he was examining to see using、uh, locating it. The, the two phases in the same axis,、uh, having, uh, uh, trying to examine different experiences of light in the second phase、uh, that are、uh, distinct from the first phase. Uh, this is the、uh, portion that was added later. Uh, one is missing, but. <laughs> What I wanted to say, although the slide's not here, is that、um, having. To、uh, different types of、uh, wall or, or shape.、Um, at, during the same period of time in the day,、uh, you get two different experiences of light、uh, filtering through that, uh, that o- those、uh, two openings. <laughs> Uh, here's another example of,、uh, of a building that was uh, built uh, on a site that is rare in Japan. Um, what's what's、uh, special about this、uh, site is that the、uh, surrounding is in a national,、uh, across the way, across the、uh, street. Is national uh, uh, park, and、uh, this was an experience that was new in, uh, to him, uh, and it's、uh, very rare in Japan.
そういう景色をいい景色を自分の建物の中に取り入れるという方法,いう方法でありますけれどもそういう方法を用いたいと思います。I wanted to use the old Japanese concept of borrow scenery called shake by bringing in other,、uh, other people's scenery or、uh, our view and trying to bring that in as part of the composition to, his ho-、uh, to my house. <laughs> I thought of、uh, penetrating my building,、uh, piercing into、uh, the adjacent site that is National Park. I wanted to create architecture that from each room that you can view the,、um, the surrounding or adjacent.、Uh, Property and the one that、uh, can also bring the,、uh, the outside scenery into,、uh, into this house. I like to also speak about mono- monochromism. Monochromism in Japan had been traditional, as you can see in this traditional sumi uh, uh, painting, a brush painting. And what I'm interested in is not merely、um, the spectrum black or white, but it's somewhere in between gray and,、uh, and the depth and richness that it,、uh, it creates. This is a view from the lobby, and you can see、uh, looking at black、uh, in this spectrum, there's gradation,、uh, not simply black or white. In this architecture,、um, there's uh, only con- a color of concrete and color black. And nothing else、uh, existing in this house. As, as you can see, that、uh, the former slide was a house,、uh, a traditional Japanese architecture. And this is the,、uh, again the lobby of the、uh, previous house. And he,、uh, I feel that I like to, to、uh, capture it,、uh, really capture the light that、uh, filters in, uh, through the light. I almost like to net, net the light. Th-、uh, net the light.、Um, I'd like to talk about this rock,、uh, next project, Rocco Housing, which is built uh, uh, at the bottom of、uh, Mount Rocco. The, the slope、uh, of this、uh, mountain、uh, was 60 degrees, and this house, housing was built uh, uh, in, along that slope. I'm 
のこれがちょっと待ってくださいねちょうどこれが工事中の写真でありますけれども一番最初にその刺激を見に行きましたときにまああの土地をもつらしがこういう斜面ならばいくら安藤さんでもやると言わないだろうと言われましたのでなんかムカッとしてその調整してみたいと思います。This, this is a, a, a building, uh, a site that is under construction. But when the client came,、um, he said, well, I, I bet you, Mr. Ando, you, you, you won't want to do anything on this site. So he, he really got upset, and that, he said he really wanted to challenge、uh, on this site. So he decided to、uh, design a building here. <laughs> As long as, as long as I'm an architect, as long as things are possible, I like to always challenge uh, to uh, each situation and addressing issue and, and,、uh, and maintain that spirit of challenging. Along,、um, the, the issue was、uh, along the 60 degree slope how to uh, uh, stack ver、uh, various s i z e of cubes and to create、uh, a housing. The module is 5.5 by 5.5 meters and the, the totaling、uh, from the ground level、uh, 11 stories. Uh, these stacks of simplistic boxes are, are stacked along the natural slope, and the、uh, ju juxtaposition of the natural slope、uh, with this、uh, stacking of simplistic uh, boxes uh, was, was an interesting、uh, situation. <laughs> Uh, this is、uh, not unlike the mountainous village where, as you go up the, uh, these uh, stairs, you can look beyond to the ocean and to the cities below. Uh, in the center,、uh, as you can see, are、uh, a, a large, larger public spaces such as this. Again, I wanted to address the, the issue of blending、uh, built environment architecture into this natural setting. Each unit has, always has、uh, one of the、uh, balcony spaces, such as this, and it stacks up. Uh, again, uh, having this uh, 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 balcony, one can、uh, bring in nature or one can go out and experience nature,、uh, which is a consistent, throughout th a consistent theme throughout my architecture.
I wanted to uh, maximize uh, this this site, which is uh, uh, sloping, and and uh, try to capture the essence of it. <laughs> As you can see, uh, you can look uh, beyond uh, through the exterior balcony space as you saw on the other slide. This uh, building is located in a site where one can uh, look uh, towards the Bay of Osaka and uh, also uh, uh, port of Kobe, an ideal site. He didn't want to experience this uh, experience of uh, building in a difficult site uh, any, uh, one <laughs> ever again, and uh, he was getting tired of challenging, but uh, but now he's designing or <laughs> designing a, um, a building right adjacent to it in the vacant lot right to <laughs> The lot is four times as large as the the uh, the phase one. Uh, and it, you, uh, one can build four times as high as uh, the uh, housing uh, that was already built. Uh, the first phase is 11 stories, but this second phase will become 18 stories from the ground level. Um, it, it's under uh, uh, it, it's uh, in the drawing stage right now and the construction will start this spring but he's uh, very tense at the moment because it's such a difficult uh, 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 situation in uh, in designing along a, uh, such a steep slope. <coughs> One goes up along the 18 stories uh, uh, along the stairway uh, as that you see on the slide. <laughs> Uh, according to the doctrine of modernism, it's inhuman, uh, inhuman architecture. There, uh, the residents who know about this uh, site will travel up with the uh, the uh, elevator that is situated along the slope. But the first time visitors who, who, who don't know about the elevator would go up the stairs. <laughs> he feels that uh, in, in such architecture, one can um, uh, address uh, a joke. Uh, in the center where there is a, f a, f a large frame, there, there is a uh, swimming pool. Uh, 
you walk up the stair along the stairs but the uh, elevator is down below and uh, you enter the units uh, to the side in two years the building will be complete so please come and visit <laughs> Maybe the uh, the slope will uh, uh, fall or the building will collapse and maybe the uh, Ando's office will not exist at the time. <laughs> I'm also designing a church uh, and on top of Mount Roko, which is situated between two cities, uh, Osaka and Kobe. And this is at uh, the peak, the top of this Mount Roko. 